happening, Cucumber Squad? Right, man. So I thought I'd bring you something different today. Bahu Shenyu again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know there's a lot of Hua Shenyu today, man. I'm just getting these Hua Shenyus out the way. Uh, a couple of people have been requesting them, and it is a paid reaction. It's a skip the line request. Uh, this time from Jennifer B. Um, so thank you so much, Jennifer B, for requesting this. I absolutely adore this artist. Um, I know it happens to two people have happened to do, you know, two requests of Hua Shenyu each. So I know we're doing four today, but uh, hey man, guys, this man is incredible. He's absolutely incredible. So just bear with it um, and just enjoy. I promise you, just enjoy. This man is incredible. So yeah, so it's a, it's a Hua Shen Yu day, it seems. Um, and uh, yeah, so Jennifer B, thank you so much for this. Apparently, uh, this particular performance or the, the two that we are actually going to do is actually from a competition where a couple of people have entered and Hua Shen Yu was a part of it. Um, actually, if Jennifer can put more details down in the comment section, I will pin your comment as well on the actual competition itself, right? This one is called Perhaps Love. Um, let's see what we got. Let's go. Mm. Oh, I knew it. I mean, no, the French accordion. <laughs> Deliver stuff is incredible, man. Seriously, how do you not like this dude? This guy's insane. Look at the way this dude's like literally should be on Broadway. Seriously, go away the way you deliver. You can feel his emotion over here, man. Obviously, a love song, beautiful words as well. The closer I am to you, the further away I am from you. Do you love or hate me? It's almost he's already talking in the question over here. He's uncertain about this love right but even look at the despair look at the you can see the loss in his face like he doesn't know you can see that he's just it's confused come on man <laughs> it's not like this dude please come on it's Unreal. Unreal. The despair, the consequences, I accept them all as long as you love me. That's the end game. The end game is that you actually love me. Right? I accept all the consequences. I accept all the pain. I just need to know that you love me. That's it. But the, look, just... Oh, good Lord. Oh, okay. Oh, go back, go back. Sorry, guys. I'm just going back there. Mm, beautiful. I'll, I'll go back and let it play again. But she said, uh, uh, happiness and pain are hard to separate. And I've said this about, I've said this before. So if we look at happiness, happiness and joy, and then pain and fear, right? Because pain stems from fear and you know, happiness stems from joy, essentially. If you look at the symptoms, the physical symptoms of those two things, fear and joy, right? So with love, so right, so she mentioned love. Love is joy. So with love, when you actually fall in love with somebody, right? And you in close proximity to that person. So you can in close proximity to love, right? What actually happens from a physical standpoint? Your hands go clammy, butterflies in your stomach, right? Heavy breathing, your breathing changes, right? That's just, you can't change that. That's the, and heart races, right? That is the physical symptoms of love. What is the physical symptoms of fear? 
Hands go clammy. Stomach goes. Butterflies in stomach. Rapid breathing. Rapid heart rate. The exact same symptoms. Right? So for me, those two are very, very connected. Fear and love, pain and joy are super connected because they have the exact same feelings. Right? So even in fear and even in pain, right, what are you actually experiencing? Even in a fearful situation, you could be experiencing love. But it's all out. It's all down to your perception. It's all down to how you take it. The symptoms are exactly the same. So it's crazy to think that the connection is there. That the same connection emotionally that you would have to somebody telling, telling you that they love you from a physical standpoint. To somebody telling you that you love, I want to end this, which stems from fear. You get the same exact emotions. So how do you channel those emotions? If you guys know the answer, you tell me. <laughs> Let's go. So it's got a very opera-esque type feel. Definitely Broadway by no stretch of the imagination. This is a Broadway piece, if there ever was one. Um, but a very opera-esque feel as well. Very dramatic and classical to a certain degree. So absolutely beautiful. But we've got a transition over here. Contemporary. Okay. Hey, hey. Ooh. Okay, very cool. So uh, we've actually gone from the actual love, the love, um, uh, the you know the the deeper emotions of love now transitioning into the fiery moments of a love relationship right which is the heat the fire the spark right and obviously portraying that with the tango oh, is just good lord you know what i mean you can't get more fiery than that you know what i mean let's go where's the rose you need a rose Hey. amazing in this in this cruel world an insignificant ant has no right to sign essentially so say you're in this world everybody's insignificant nobody's an angel everyone's out for their own sort of amends regardless of how much makeup they wear you know what i mean so uh, that's very very cool a very very popular once again She's 
she's basically saying what I've said. What is left to fear, to fear in this dirty world? Heaven and hell are the same. I'm probably like they're literally they they're literally uh, playing into my premise over here. Absolutely incredible. The, just both vocals, incredible. Opera esque, absolutely. Dramatic, dramatic. they played with the hot and cold there as well with the tango tango's fiery fire and then in the more in the more desperate portions of the song which was the desperate portions of their love affair um it was snowing meaning it's cold right that the love of like that 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 relationship had just grown cold but there were moments of heat and the heat brought a lot of fear uh, and a lot of pain and then the cold brought a lot of despair also pain, but the pain was there consistently, and so was the love, essentially. But then, how would they determine it? Determine it right? It's, it's all the same. Hell and heaven are the same. It's all perceptive, how you see it, right? In the moment, it's also very down to uh, environmental aspects. It's very down to what you're going through in your life at the time. It's, it's very down to um, your state of mind at that particular moment so you don't know lots of factors in it but beautiful Absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. Hopefully they won that entire competition. Um, that was absolutely, the way this, I don't know, the way Hua Shen Yu performs, man, is just next level. Literally one of the best performers I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely so captivating, absolutely beautiful, man. Beautiful, the vocals, the connection, just absolutely incredible. Anyway, guys, I love you all, man. I'll catch you on the next one. It'll probably be a horse in your one as well. So anyway, uh, have, have a great day. Peace.